We get calls like this all the time. This was a new house on a golf course, and right after the homeowners moved in, they hired a painter to paint their concrete, and now a year later, the paint is peeling off. So the first thing we have to do is grind the concrete to remove all of the paint. These jobs are kind of funny because once we remove the paint, the homeowners are so excited to have their concrete looking new again. They've been dealing with peeling paint for so long on their brand new house that they're happy to have anything that's different, which is good for us because it really only gets better from here. Now that the concrete has been ground, we're ready to apply the West Coat Texture Crete Custom Finish. The first thing we have to do is prime the concrete. We do this by mixing West Coat WP81 Cement Modifier with water and we roll it on the surface. This system that we're doing today is one of my favorite things that we do, and that's because we aren't trying to mimic stone or something. There are a lot of ways to describe this system. Some people call it a trowel concrete overlay or a stain concrete overlay or a seamless overlay, but all we're doing is creating a custom troweled finish that will look similar to Venetian plaster when we're done. Once the concrete is primed, we're gonna apply the first coat of the overlay. We add West Coat Grout to the WP81 modifier and we mix it for two to three minutes. We're also gonna add some of the smoked pigment to this mix to give it a light gray color. I make a lot of videos like this, so if this is helpful at all, or if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're here. I've also been making online courses that teach you all these systems in a lot more detail. I'll leave a link down in the description below if you wanna learn more about that. The first coat of overlay goes down really easily. We just use the pump sprayer to keep the concrete damp, and we pour the grout on the ground and spread it with the magic trowel. Hey, my name is Tim with Decorative Concrete in Virginia. I make a lot of videos like this one, so if you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button down below, and it also helps me out a lot if you hit the like button too. Once the base coat is dry to the touch, we're going to go ahead and make another batch of West Coat TC2 grout, and we're going to do it all over again. Only this time, we're going to use hand trowels instead of a magic trowel. A hand trowel leaves a smoother finish than a magic trowel, and you have a lot more control over the finished look of the texture. There's a lot of technique to troweling that you'll learn over time as you're actually doing a system like this, but you have to think of it as two separate steps. The first step is spreading the material on the ground. Doesn't really matter what it looks like. You're just trying to get it spread as quickly as you can. And the second step is when you go back over what you spread on the ground, but you use short strokes so that you're getting out as many long trowel marks as you can. Because when you eliminate all the long trowel marks, you eliminate the man-made look and it makes it look just like some sort of natural concrete texture. Like I said earlier, it just is very similar to Venetian plaster. If you look right in the middle of this patio, you'll see a few cut lines. These are called control joints and the concrete always tends to crack at these joints. Cementuous overlays are not meant to fill joints like this, so we're going to recut them later, but I'll get to that in a minute. Once we finish this trowel coat, we're gonna go home and let that cure overnight, and we'll be back tomorrow to stain and seal the concrete. Okay, this is the next day, and before we stain and seal the concrete, I'm gonna recut all of those control joints. This is a pretty simple process. I'm just using an angle grinder with a diamond blade, and Troy's following behind me with a vacuum cleaner to vacuum up most of the dust. Hi, right, real quick, I just want to let you know that if you want more info about this type of concrete overlay, I'm actually making courses that covers this entire process, only with a lot more detail. So if you want to learn from us, it'll be the first link in the description down below. For today's final color, I'm just following the instructions on the West Coat color chart. 
So we're going to mix two parts of onyx to one part mahogany, and that's going to make the color on their chart called coffee. I'll leave a link to their color chart with all of the formulas for all of their colors in the description down below. This is a little different for me because I'm used to spraying stains, but today we're actually going to brush the stain in and we're going to use this soft bristle brush that I bought at a local hardware store. And what we're going to do here is Troy's going to lightly mist the surface with water because it's pretty hot while we're doing this. So he's going to lightly mist the surface with water to keep it from drying too fast. And then I'm just going to dip the brush in a bucket and scrub the stain on the ground. I have to admit this was a little scary at first because I feel like I'm just making a mess, just slopping this stuff on the ground and moving around with the brush. But it was really cool to see this come to life though as the stain starts to dry. You can kind of start to see the variations in the floor. You can finally start to get a feel for what the finished product is going to look like. I always get impatient watching stain dry, so Troy and I are going to head to lunch for about an hour, then we're going to come back and we're going to put some sealer on this. The last step on this project is going to be applying West Coat Acrylic Lacquer Sealer. This is a solvent based sealer. We're going to cut it with a little bit of solvent just to make it a little bit thinner. Then we're going to add some grit to it so that it gives it a little bit of traction, and then we're going to roll it on the patio. The grit's actually probably not necessary on this project. The texture of this has a little bit of traction to where I don't think it would really be slippery, but since this patio is adjacent to a pool deck, we're gonna put a little bit of grit in it just to be cautious. This is a pretty simple process. We're just going to use a 3 8 inch nap roller. We dip the roller in the sealer and just roll it on the concrete. You just have to be careful here to move quickly. You can see that I'm using the cut lines as start and stop points. So I basically broke this job into two separate jobs. So I seal one side up to the cut line and now we're going to start on the second side. We're going to seal that one up to the cut line too. Once we finish that coat, we're going to wait about 30 minutes and then we're going to come back and apply a second coat. My best advice for sealing concrete like this with a solvent based sealer outside during the summer is just going to be to do a couple of really thin coats. And then as you're putting the sealer down on the ground, what we like to do is we like to make one pass across it just getting the sealer onto the concrete. Then we make a second pass and as we push the roller forward we're going to pick it up while it's moving forward and hopefully that's going to avoid leaving any roller marks in the concrete. One of the great things about the West Coat Texture Crease system is that you can use the exact same materials and get a completely different look. For example in my last YouTube video I used the same West Coat grout to overlay a patio with a slate pattern. I'll post a link to that video here on the screen and in the description below. If you have any questions about this process at all leave me a comment down below. And if this video has been helpful to you, it really helps me out when you click the like button down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're down there. Thanks again for watching, 
I'll see you next time.